right. Nomad. Well, we can't. There we go. Let's see what this Ripper Doc's got for us. And also, I need to sell stuff. Uh, I think I'm able to do that with the Ripper Doc, but I'm not sure. We'll find out. Around me. Actually, I guess I'll just sell it to the gun vendor. I know I can do that. Uh, hey, bud. Yes? What's up? I want to see what you got in stock. Browse to your heart's content. I will. And by which I mean I want to sell you my stuff. Actually, no, I'm going to disassemble that one. Uh, inventory? Okay, now the Ripper Dock. What have you got? You recommend any chrome in particular? Eh, you know, cyber implantations like buying shoes. Everyone needs something different. A net runner won't have the same needs as a solo. But if you spend a lot of time in the Badlands, it's worth investing in cloaking gear. Hollow skin, active camo, what have you. Compared to the city, surrounding area might look deserted. But less folk doesn't mean you'll be safer. Here's what I recommend. Move quietly. Don't draw too much attention, else things can get real ugly real quick. I know. I was raised by the backers. Ah, well, I don't have to tell you that. Too late. I want to get myself chipped. Straight to the point. I like it. Alright, what have you got? You got a better deck? No. I don't know if there is a better deck. Uh, carrying capacity, attack speed, health. Oh, that's not bad, but I'm not going to have eight body. You know what? I'll go ahead and get the titanium bones. Why not? Why the heck not? Um, bleh, bleh, bleh. I don't want any of those. I want to replace my legs. Do you need to burn? Eh. It doesn't happen that often. I'm not too worried about it. You know, Gangsta X, you know, you go right ahead and enjoy enjoy this, the celebration while you can. Why not? Uh, immune system. Nothing. Circulatory. Well, a lot of these things require a lot of body, I'm noticing. Hey, that's not bad. Heal on kill. I mean, it's not great, but I can use it. Oh, I get this for free. Okay. Might as well. Um, I'll take ram up. Great recovery speed. Sure. Why not? Okay. Whoa. <laughs> that was weirdly fast. Okay, Panam wanted something. And they're right here. Well, that's convenient. And of course they're right here. Look where we are. No, the rest will stay here in camp. I want patrols every half hour, reporting directly to me. Rude. Preparing for a visit from Biotechnica? Or a fourth corporate war. The Raffins could surprise us at any moment. You're not blowing this a little out of me. You're here. I don't want. Any what is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend to do it all behind my back? Is that it? 
Uh-huh. Rude. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. You really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. <laughs> no. This discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I don't know, that sounds believe... difficult. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. I thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to Crops? prove is that a corp can walk all over us. And we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess. Whole thing's your idea. How did you know? Saul wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes. A craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations, like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. You guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. <laughs> that is what he said. Thought you and Saul agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You want to fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life, yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. I like how they're burying carbines instead of burying hatchets now. In 2077. And you plan to grab the basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. <laughs> she knows me too well. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Marka. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? Damn, girl. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Done. It's all too... easy. Convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need. Coming your way, almost served on a silver platter. Yes, Saul also claimed it stinks to high heaven. Intel on the convoy, where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? 
Okay. I'm in. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. And do your trucks turret again? Because that was pretty dope. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy too? Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave This is how you know it's the future. There's, there's hexes everywhere. Okay, okay. Forget I'm even at Superfluous hexes. That's how you know it's the future. Seriously, I don't know why science fiction people are so obsessed with hexagons. <laughs> Bizarre. Let's go. I'm not stopping you. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp. Saw him no wish to see us there anyway. It's better to make a good second impression on the biotech Those sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. Raffins, what about them? You expecting any trouble? All is. Posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. Yeah. You don't miss life sure, in that city? Not. Chat. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the empty. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Had a hard time leaving my family, too. He was never completely alone, either. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie. I remember that. Big bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. cowboy here. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Sol would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay, the Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Seems to be a lot of abandoned stations around. This one belonged to a corporation that ran a cement factory. They used it as their reloading point. They didn't take the train engine when they left? The engine's been here going on 40 years, since the Blackwall days. For a time, everybody had to go back to the old ways. This engine ran on nuclear, like submarines do. All the weirder they left it behind. Corpse. They probably listed it in a spreadsheet as cost optimization. It that makes sense. sense. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Alright. Can I say? I'm just that good. Oh. The stairs it is then. Do you need a light? Well done. Thanks, boys.
Are we there? Yeah. where so many tracks converge <laughs> junctions yes those when you see them from above you feel free like you could set off in a thousand journeys all at once perhaps more simply hopeful okay here we are Got a lot of reading material in here too. Damn, that is some old ass tech. Would you help me look? Sure thing. Nothing here. Not out here. Nothing here. Okay, it must be here somewhere. V, look thoroughly, please. Rude. Some sort of Stone Age control panel. Let's find the cards first. Might be in there. People just leave money lying around everywhere, don't they? Well, well, well. Got something. Good job. Nothing. It worked. Come look. I see it from here. Little engine that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. You're happier out here. And smell it a mile off. Surely you joke. I'm about to put my family at risk, get a dressing down from Saul, and possibly be kicked out of the family. And you say I seem happy? Yeah. Because you're doing what you think's right for the Aldecaldos. Even though it's hard. Even though you're shitting your pants. Dear God. So you can see it too. Because it's all for the family, right? Not that you want to kick Saul out. Take his place as the head of the clan. Not another word from you. All right. And you, why are you doing this? I know that I asked you for help myself, but why did you agree? Because it's important to you. But is that all? I... Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Listen, V, I... I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. Speaking of my feelings and so forth. And I would not want to cut this up. Well, that's a start. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh -huh. Yes, I noticed. <laughs> that's exactly what I was going to say. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you... I prefer to play it safe. Why is it any different with me? Because
guess I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close, if only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right. Let's rejoin the others. Oh my. Kai, I think she just threatened me with a good time. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. I like how we don't even have the option to tell them. <laughs> we don't even have the option to rat her out. Not that I would, but it's funny that they won't even let us. The nice invisible fire you've got going there. That hot and sour soup? I want some. I love hot and sour soup. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Oh. Waste time soon. Hurry up and wait. Some time left till dusk. Hmm. The car could use another one somewhere. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> Up staring at me like that. We've got a few hours till dawn. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ugh. Was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas, and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Hmm. Gotcha. You don't talk about the war much. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. And it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm-hmm. I'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. Uh-huh. But you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. Fair enough. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. And a Jack. Scorpion. Aw, and a Jackie. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay, it'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. 
<laughs> Growing kind of cold out here. Not true. But this is nice. Catch some shit eye with me. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, B. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> oh. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, B. Johnny's getting ornery again. Hey, hey, watch your driving. They're going faster than we thought. I don't know if we can catch them. Uncouple one of the cars. It'll speed you up. Hey, no coming in falling. Take out that couple. Destroying bad guys or no attack, eh? Okay. Hey guys. Hey, I'm on it. Roger, Come on, on boy. Move that ass, steady boy. Protection. Sons of bitches! Go, go, go! Take that concrete. Ah! Buddy. Not a good tactical decision staying in there. Ow. Pants, buddy. Oh, 
Okay, let's go. Ready to roll. Easy peasy. Fuck! It worked! <laughs> of course it did! Just as I said it would! And now for the twist. How's it going there, V? Did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunger junk together. The real fun is just starting Teddy. Yeah, I definitely don't have time for that nonsense. Dive brain hemorrhage while I'm working on somebody's truck. Finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing if you ask me. No, that just means they're about to attack us. I'll take care of this myself. Oh, was I on top of the truck? Not coming? Alright, fine. Fuck! Pan Am! Oh, there he is. So it begins. What's the meaning of this? Exactly what you see. The Basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am! You can see them from miles away! You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? The Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too! Stop it! Fuck! Just shut up already! <laughs> Do you want to serve corporations forever? Fine! Go right ahead! In that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. Oh yeah, kick out the person the who left voluntarily. That's a together? threat. Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. I love the fact that the the guy that looks like the cowboy is the guy named Cassidy. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was ten years old. Seem to still be in fine working order. Mm hmm. Family's with you on this, I think. Sure. Where did you get that impression? All I heard was silence. Saw them looking at that basilisk, drooling. Nomads, panzers, panzers, nomads. You had them from the start. We'll see. Everything okay? Yes, of course. <laughs> Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V, I'm sure I will. So you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. That was a strange little sidestep for no reason. Level up. Woot. Okay. Uh, reflexes, please. Actually, I keep... I do keep running into things where one more point of technical ability would help. Let's do that. All right. Mm. 
throw spread distance. That could be useful. Hmm. Take this one. Um, and this one. And we're gonna get we're gonna contagion everybody. Okay. Um Oh, we got the other race to do. Where is it? Down the road a little bit. Okay. You just drive that. Hey, Dale. <laughs> View screwed up. There we go. I should say four kilometers. Oh, I thought it was there. It's actually in town. I read the map wrong. Okay, that's why. Never mind, we're not going to drive that. Back in here to the fast travel point. Now you got one in here somewhere, guys. I done seed it. There it is. I'm taking that also. I miss my sister. I miss your sister too. Assuming she's an adult, that is. This is unavailable. <gasps> That's my car! Hold on. It finally showed up. Uh, where are you, bastard? Let me just check the map. Uh, okay, so I think it's... Oh, come on. I'm gonna go. Saw that message. Damn it, where'd it go? Oh well, we'll do the race first, it's fine. It's fine, but why is this unavailable? Why can't I? That's weird. Alright, fine. We're gonna have to drive to the next tra fast travel point, I guess. For some reason. Hey, Lady Gunslinger. Have a good lurk. I think there was another one up the road a bit. Let's we'll get to that one. I don't know why that one back at the camp was busted. There's some shenanigans going on over there.
Oh, traffic jam, what the heck? Oh, never mind. It's a ghost traffic jam. <laughs> where it is? No, it's the next one. Ugh. Fine. We have fast travel. They all just disappear when we get close to them. Right. Also unavailable. What the heck? Why am I not allowed to use fast travel right now? Oh well. Whatever. Yep. Beep beep. Guess we're out for a leisurely drive then. Gotta drive to the race. We gotta drive to the place so that we can drive from the place. Expert taxi driver. That was a totally legal maneuver. It's fine. You're allowed to do that. <laughs> After all that, it changes its mind. Ugh. <laughs> Just your average Sunday drive. It's fine. Screw with me. Pardon me. Coming through. Must be doing wonders for Delamain's reputation as a taxi service, although I don't know if they're even operating anymore. Is the AI in my car also operating the taxi service still? Or is it just in my car and that's it? I don't even know. Hey, girl! Claire. Hey! Ready for the next race? Already here. Ready and waiting. You want to use your own ride or am I bringing Beast? Well, you know it's Beast. Beast. It's time to unleash her. Can't keep a spit shined animal like that caged up in your garage. Well said. Meet there, yeah. Rancho. Be right there. See you then. Give me your beast, Claire. Uh. Hey V, I'm gonna take a look under the hood before we start, see if all's okay. 
but stay close, just in case. That's weird. Not worry this will get you killed. What, today? The race? Why? I'm not asking about just today. It could be, though. Or the next one. The one after that. Chew and I got shocked and killed by a faulty toaster in her own kitchen. So, you know, it is what it is. Case or Alice or all. Our chances, how do you see him? Well, it's gonna be tough to beat out Luigi. And he's got Margo riding Gunner today. Right, so... The girl loves popping flats, but don't get hung up on it. Let it mess his head. Just focus on the route, let me handle the entertainment. Sorry, need a minute to kick the tires before we get moving. Sure. Why? Come on! I want to smell that choo choo bird! Let it roar! Make my ears bleed! Oh, yeah, I like that! Let's count it down! Three, two, one! Out of the way, chumps! These coming through! Being on top of the other car is not good for my steering. Noted. This is better. We can win this, D. No, oh, we gonna win this, girl. You know it. Pop those tires, girl. Try. Shit. That's a sneaky corner. Sharp turns are not my friend. There we go. That's better. Ferris wheel has seen better days. Or have I squished anybody? We can win this team. <laughs> like how she said that while we were bounced in the air. Watch 
See you later, power lines. Dare him to try. Congratulations to V and Claire. We're only a little bit on fire. Hell yeah! One more race! Don't stop yet, okay? Move up a bit further. What for? Need to talk. Something you should know. Okay. Sit down for a spell over there. And this is when she proposes to us. Like to come here. We need to feel less cigarettes, though. I mentioned Dean before. My husband, yeah. Wheel to your heat, right? Sweetest man I ever knew. We were friends before my gender transition. He brought daffodils to the hospital. It's a new beginnings, he said. Were you married long? Twelve years. Dean used to laugh that for our fifteenth, said he'd finally talked me into my first implant. I was prepping some surprise. Hey, you mind if I ask why you don't sport any chrome? I love machines, V, I do. But I don't ever want to become one. Isn't that weird? A little, I guess. But it's fine. Dean. Only person who could have convinced me to crawl him up. But guess we'll never know if he'd have managed, huh? Why tell me about Dean? Meaning, uh, why now? He died during a race last year. The final. Not your standard fatality, though. This have something to do with our race? Sort of. Thing is, Dean was murdered. He was flatlined by a Corpo Eagle Weasel. Peter Sampson. Exceptional walking rot. What's the Corpo's deal? Doesn't really matter. It was only ever another adversary to me. But to Dean. Dean and Sampson had a history going way back. And something happened between them? Dean never admitted anything, but yeah. Yeah, there was some kind of strife. Something personal to their rally rivalry. When Samson came first, Dean got hot and bothered. What's the Corpo's deal? Doesn't really matter. It was only ever another adversary to oh, me. Wait. Dean and Samson. Something happened. Dean. Wrong option. Something per Your husband. How'd he die exactly? We'd just powered into the final straight, Samson peeling up the tarmac ahead of us. It was clear we couldn't win, so Dean let up on the chew. And then that snake slammed on the brakes. Dean also had to. He lost control. Hey, but isn't that how this race works? You don't get it. Road was clear to the finish line. He would have won. It was premeditated. Oh. Right. So this isn't business as usual. For you, this isn't about winning. That's right. Fuck winning. I want Samson dead. And this is your best plan for vengeance. Folks die on the track all the time. Won't seem unusual at all. Another day at the races. In line with the rules. I'm in. And if Samson doesn't show for the race, what then? <laughs> Never miss a chance to puff out his chest. He'll race. Circuit champ last year. No way he'll let that go. Not try to repeat. And me? Guess you want my help to zero him. Killing Samson matters more than taking first. We have to make a choice. Sorry I lied to you, V. It means a lot to you, this. So, yeah, let's bury the bastard. Thank you. This 
It's important. I need it. See you for the final? That's right. Till then, V. Well then. Yeah, we're gonna get that guy. Okay, is that other thing in my list now? Or do I have to... Maybe I have to check the message. Uh, where was it? Alright, I got a message from my previous car. Now, as I, as I recall, I looked up how to get this quest to happen, and it mentioned that I believe this is the car we were driving at the beginning of the game during the Nomad intro. Because after we got into town, he bought a new car. So I guess he lost this one. And now, days later, or actually probably months later from the intro, we suddenly get a text message from our original car with a GPS coordinates. No, they're not going up in the quest list at least. Or is that what? Oh no, this is this one. Yeah, this is the one. All right, we get to go meet the final. What? What? Is that even possible? Huh? Old wheels are up and running. Yeah. Now we get to be. Uh, now we get to meet the final YouTuber in the game. As I was trying to do a while back. Yes, Kai, Claire certainly did. And she had an excellent transition. Good for her. Of course. The GPS location for our previous car, car is in the frickin' v, the basilisk. It's dump. Ready. Would you like to drive it? Yeah, I would. Sure, be there soon. Fuck me, it is awesome! So I hear. But, first, I was tracking another thing. We'll get back to you. Uh, also, I took the wrong turn, I think. Actually, no, this, this way should work. Or not. You know what? It's fine. Um, okay. <laughs> All right, we finally get to meet. Alana Pierce. Man, what a junkyard. Yeah. Triumphed. Yeah, like I agree, Kai. They did a very good, realistic job with Claire's setup there. And I'm glad that she's not all barbied up because I think she's a lot more attractive as a real person. 
a real seeming person, you know? Excuse me, everybody. Just passing through. Getting ourselves stabbed in razor wire. No big deal. Long while, old friend. Let's see what we got here. All right. It's warm. Engine was running just a short while ago. New coil, plugs. Somebody's clearly been tinkering with the camshaft. What's this now? Someone cleaned the cooling fan. Filled up the brake fluid. Except... Huh. With water. Huh. New, but used. Salvaged from some other junker. Alright. Seen enough. Hey, what the... Hands off my car! There she is. Th what? No, it's my car. No, why would you leave it rusting in a yard? Because <laughs> it broke down and I... And you abandoned it and now, out of nowhere, you remembered you'd left it. Likely story. <laughs> this last week I've put in sweat, smarts, anything to get this heap running. Should have started with the step motor, would have been quicker. Says who? And why? Because it's iffy, starts sticking. We clear the carbon deposits and it starts running like new again. Fuck! I replaced the entire throttle. Ah, see? It takes the owner to really know a set of wheels. Former owner? Cause mine now. As soon as I'm done doing the basic fixes, I am leaving this fucking city in a cloud of exhaust. Seem desperate. Why you want to leave? No way you'd understand if you have to ask. Come on. Try me. Tell me. Tell you what, damn it! Look around you! Dirt, rot, shit, and scum. I don't want to live here. Not now. Hmm. You can keep it. You know, I got like four or five vehicles now. It's fine. Timing chain's about rusted through. So? You want to replace it. Else it's liable to snap if you open her up even a bit. Take her over 30. Hold on, hold on. You mean to say I can have her? I mean to say you can. Wouldn't have a use for her here anyway. Not your typical urban vehicle. Roads rise to meet you, clever girl. Mm. Jeez. Thanks. I'm not sure what to say. Well, well, this nomad planet roots. Could it be? Dunno. Hard to ruminate on that when you got a fucking time bomb lodged in your head. If it's any consolation, fucking time bomb feels shitty about it too. I know, Johnny. Come on. Let's ghost. This place makes my skin crawl. And I think that's it. It's a fun little interlude there. Somebody's getting used use out of my old car. That was fun. Okay. Let's have a quick break. And then we'll see what uh, Padam needs. <laughs>